What's up there, Shadow? How's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks like they're leaving. Good. Good, I thought there was going to be some people in the way of my vlogging. Since I haven't vlogged in a while, I thought there was going to be some people in the way. But, luckily, luckily they decided to go home. Which is perfect. So give me a chance to kind of talk to the camera. <laughs> or give me a chance to talk to you guys anyway. Oh, well. I haven't vlogged at the park and that's it's been a while. I can definitely say that here at the Welcome Park. I did a few videos from here last summer when I did my daily summer vlog. And I know I've been getting some questions on that. Uh, some people have asked me if I was going to do that again this summer. Well, originally I was thinking about it, you know, because of the fact that I know there's a few of you guys who actually, actually enjoyed enjoyed it last time I did it. Of course, there's a few of you that probably didn't enjoy it either, but but most of you guys did. Most of you, most of you liked it. And, uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. I mean, I don't, I don't know for sure. Of course, it totally depends on, I guess it totally depends on the uh, job situation with myself, because I'm currently trying to, I'm actually, I got two jobs that I went to hear back on that uh, one required a test that I actually found out I did pass. Now I'm just waiting to find out if I can, if when I can start. And uh, the other job, is uh, in Roseau, Roseau, Minnesota. Uh, it's, I'm just trying to, you know, wait on to hear about that too. So I do got two jobs that I'm waiting to hear on. I have been doing a little bit of work, trying to do a little searching and whatnot. Uh, of course, if I get those jobs, then there'll be no need to to do an appeal. You know, but we'll see what happens, I guess. But, uh, no, as far as the uh, daily vlogs right now, I'm not, you know, my original plan was, I, for this summer, was I was going to do, like, and, and it's, it's still a possibility that maybe, uh, it, it won't be right now, but maybe either the month of July or maybe the month of August, I will probably do at least one month's worth of daily vlogs for either the month of June, July, or August. I'm thinking more or less, if anything, by July, either July or August, because July... I mean, I should have a job by then. Uh, I should have a job pretty soon, actually. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, I was thinking, because July, you know, it's a, we got the fair, the Rosa County Fair, come, you know, coming up, and uh, there, there's not that many exciting things happening in June, as far as I know. And then we got, you know, the possible uh, Guess Who concert coming to Thief River. Guess Who are coming. Uh, I think we have, you have to pay to get into that, though. Which is kind of stupid, it should be a free concert, but anyway. And then they got John Anderson in August coming to uh, the War Road, uh, which I would definitely like to go see him because, you know, I kind of grew up listening to him, uh, you know, back in the day when I was a little kid and everything. I still like to listen to his music. I you know, like Seminole Wind and Straight Tequila Night and you know, a lot, you know, Chicken Truck. And, you know, for all you guys who know who John Anderson is. And then we got the Blues Festival in Thief River the next day, which is August 20th, and the big headliner is John Mayall. You guys don't remember John Mayall. He was the guy who, uh, not John uh, Mayer or Mayall, or no, that one guy that uh, did the song Daughters, but no, John Mayall uh, from the Blues Breakers, the guy who uh, discovered Eric Clapton and a few other uh, artists that we've listened to that uh, have become big stars uh, thanks to people like that who discovered them. So, yeah, I was uh, I looked at the casino's website uh, last night. I was just like, man, was, they got a good uh, variety for entertainment this summer. About damn time. I mean, they, they always seem to do good every year, but sometimes they get some shitty acts, and it's just like, jeez, you know. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, there isn't a whole lot right now that I have planned for this summer as I did last summer, because last summer was... A little bit more bigger just because of the fact that my nephew was born and a lot so this year he'll be so next month he'll be one years old already as my dad will be 60 uh, so we got that to look forward to on June 18th but right now my biggest thing is just trying to find some work 
uh, because I don't, it, it's, I don't know, I have my doubts on this whole appeal thing. I even went and got her attorney and whatnot, and uh, she even has her doubts on that too. So it's just like, it's kind of sad when you're an attorney that uh, you're just getting advice from and doesn't think that you'll have a chance uh, to win it either. It tells me it's a flip of a coin, and it's just like, what's that supposed to mean? You know? <laughs> But uh, I do know that I was supposed to uh, uh, answer a challenge to from uh, this guy named Scotty Needham. And uh, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. And I'm also going to do my, uh, do a, uh, probably, I'm thinking later on this weekend probably, I'm going to probably do my uh, movie review on a movie Dreamscape. Uh, sorry for, you know, wait, keeping you guys waiting, and I've just been kind of busy myself, just with other things going on and everything like that and just been kind of I guess I haven't really been that too busy but just busy enough to where uh, I just haven't had time to do a video until today so this is just mostly a general update kind of what you can expect this summer uh, I think we're going to wait on the Q&A stuff the rest of it until this summer until like next week mostly but I am going to do one more video before the before Memorial Day is done and yes, Scotty, I will answer your challenge. Uh, the challenge that I'm supposed to answer is an insult challenge. Uh, and it's supposed to be what me insulting the hell out of Scotty Needham while picking a wrestler. But you see, Scott, I don't need a wrestler to, to, to copy uh, what they do as far as uh, uh, <laughs> to insult somebody. I can just insult you just by being myself. The best way that I know how to insult somebody. <laughs> Oh, great, that just makes it seem like I'm a bad person, though, because I just said that. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's just kind of been kind of rough waters over here, too. We had a couple people that I, you know, not only with the, finding out that the Macho Man Randy Savage passed away here last Friday uh, due to a heart attack, but, but here where I live, my hometown anyway, we had two people that I knew pretty well, you know. I guess in a small town you get to know people in your town pretty well. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There, there was a couple people from Greenbush here that I actually really knew really well. We were never really good friends. We never like hung out or anything like that. But I remember, like, saying like this one guy. His name was Jerome Cosinina, and he he died of cancer at the age of seventy five. And uh, he was somebody who, when I especially when I worked at the casino, he would always come down there and gamble and all that. And he was a good guy because he knew my grandpa and everything. And Somebody that uh, you could definitely, uh, some somebody that you could definitely uh, talk to, you know, and he, you know, he let me know, he always let me know what's up and whatnot, and and another guy who just recently just passed away, uh, somebody who wasn't really a friend of mine, but somebody who I knew, and that you know I could easily get along with, and that guy's name was uh, Brady Hassan, and uh, my condolences go to the whole Hassan family. Uh, you guys know who you are. It sucks when things like this happen, especially to Brady. I mean, he was such a—he was a young guy who was only 36. He—he he reminded me a lot of like Chris Farley because he was kind of a, the same size as Chris Farley, and I think that may have had something to do with it. I heard he had a heart attack or whatnot, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, that, that sucks when things like that happen. Trust me, I know when it comes to what have what it's like to have loss. Uh, maybe not, you know. Uh,